So, today guys, we are talking to Christina Shulman, who is someone that's been on The Bachelor, travelled the world as a model, and whatever else you're about to tell us about. And we, we really just want to get deep with Christina because um, I watch people's Instagram, especially people like Christina, and I'm sure you guys do it too, where you look and you're like, how are they travelling? How are they in the Bahamas and Thailand and swimming with elephants and doing all these magical amazing things and playing with tigers and jet skiing? You know, what's the downside? Like, are these people that have these amazing lives or appear to have these amazing lives, like, are they going through struggles? Do they have insecurities too? You know, what is really going on when their lives seem amazing? What's going on behind the scenes? And I just thought you'd be a perfect example of that because your Instagram looks like the dream. It really does. Every time I click on it, it really it's just does. looking hot as stress. <laughs> I, I was like really getting in there yesterday. I'm like, oh, dude, she, like you said, I'm like, she's swimming with an elephant. She's What's totally happening? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. With, with loads I mean, of awesome, sounds, beautiful yeah. women and just like. On the beach. It yeah. sounds are perfect and it does honestly, sound. like, whenever I look at my Instagram, I'm like, wow, that looks amazing. Mm -hmm. I mean, you have to filter <laughs> wow. stuff. But what I've noticed is over time, like if you scroll down to my Instagram, you see me just living life, but the photos are not as edited mm -hmm. or anything like it. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. now it's a little bit more professional and more like dreamy versus real. Mm -hmm. And I've gotten a lot of flack for it just uh. because I did, the, I did the Bachelor and I did Bachelor in Paradise. So the way that I was portrayed on the show was pretty accurate, I'd say. But people know me as that person and then they have the expe expectation for me to stay the same. Mm. Which, ah. for me, I kind of start pulling away a little bit and getting a little bit more reserved because I'm a really, very much a private person. Mm -hmm. And um, I just wanted to distance myself from TV and that public eye. Mm. So I still have those qualities that they're portrayed on TV. Right. Mm -hmm. It's just... I'm keeping that to myself more so. So Good whenever they see my Instagram, they're like, she's not the same person. Well, uh, I am. But you're just but choosing to... Right. Choosing to give you yeah. what... Um, yeah. Producers are pulling things out of you now. You get to choose what you want to reveal and what you don't. Sure, and whenever mm -hmm. you're on that kind of platform in such a public eye, there's so many people to tear you down. Mm. And that's why I choose to separate myself. Right. Trust me, social media is another world. The real side of like the reality show, sure. you know, what you went through on The Bachelor. Yeah. Like, what was that like? Walk us through it. I don't even, I know you said walk, walk you through it, but there's so much to it. And okay. uh, it's just, I guess to this day, hard to wrap your mind around because it's such a unique experience and yeah. only few get to go through it. Mm -hmm. And whenever you go through it, you kind of bond that connection, that friendship with the people that you went through through it with. Mm -hmm. uh, walking into the mansion, I blur, completely blur. It's just so overwhelming and really hard to take it all in because it's like you have eight cameras around, you have mm -hmm. sound guys everywhere, you have producers, there's like 15 of them, and they're trying to arrange how people are talking to the lead. Um, so for me, I kind of like took a back seat for a little bit. I remember trying to talk to him quite a few times that night. Um, but I just couldn't. Everyone else was kind of put before me. I was like, okay, fine. That'd be so hard. And for me, my mentality was, I want to see if I even have a connection with this guy because if I don't, I just want to leave. Mm -hmm. So that was yeah. quite interesting. Even though it's a great experience, I think at that point I really wanted to see if right. I could find the guy. And I did not get to talk to him that night. But whenever we talk a good picture, do you remember a good picture comes out mm -hmm. all the time? Mm -hmm. He actually stood beside me. Who's this one? And then he said, You have, like, don't worry about it. And I was like, Okay, so I'm safe for the first row ceremony. Wow. I, knew, I knew. So, that's wow. a bachelor juice. Yeah. 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 Okay. Did your feelings feel more amplified there? Because it is, you're not in the real world, you're in this confined space. So, did it kind of mask itself as love? Or feelings? Sure, if you're constantly talking about the lead, the guy, the yeah. bachelor, yeah, yeah, yeah. you're like, uh, and all girls are like, oh my gosh, he looks great in the suit, he looks... Uh, he like he's your primary he focus for weeks. Exactly. Uh. But again, for me, it was a little bit different in the sense that I like personal relationships, getting to know people, mm -hmm. and I got to know the producers and girls more so on my season mm -hmm. than I did the, the guy. Yeah. So that's, where, that's what the hardest, probably, and saddest part was leaving... All of the them. crew. All of that. <laughs> the, crew. the crew behind. That's so cute. So you developed genuine friendships with some of the girls. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Oh wow. So I I did, or I think I did like Nick, maybe uh, 
maybe I like him because I was like for the potential. Like, mm -hmm. Yes, and like, maybe the idea of the whole thing as yeah. well, and just like sure the romance side of it, like yeah. Well. A bachelor is one thing, Bachelor in Paradise is another. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, it is a different beast. Well, I'll sure. say for the bachelor, the hardest part was get like when he says goodbye, and you do your interview, your exit interview, you do the car ride, yeah. and whenever I was at, in the hotel room by myself, so yeah. it's like you can't, you don't talk to anyone. You're like in this hard time by yourself. So, and I was like, I just want to see one familiar face. Like, can somebody yeah. come? Right, type thing. And so. Mm -hmm. In, the, in Bimini, that was probably the hardest day until I flew back probably the following day. Mm -hmm. And I got in my car and drove straight down to Nashville because the girl who got eliminated before me was like 24 hours ago. Or like oh, 24 like to 48 hours you. Uh -huh. wow. So it was a three and a half hour drive. I literally just flew for seven hours, got in the car and drove straight down to Nashville. To connect with to her. To see her. Yeah, because I was like, we need, like, I need a similar face. Yeah, so you know what we just went through together. Yes. What you've been through. I need a hug. Comfort. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Wow. I would have so, done exactly oh, the same. Oh, me too. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so, to wrap that up. Oh, that was so nice talking to you. Yeah, You've got such so a nice. sweet, oh. lovely energy. Such a, just oh, lovely. Let's so, um, so yeah, very, you're good, very right? soft. You're making you're you're very really? feminine, and you're making me feel very masculine. <laughs> what? <laughs> because <laughs> which which just is my insecurity. I always um, I don't feel like I have the most like soft spoken you know feminine voice, which is totally fine. It's just the oh way my goodness! I am. But I feel like you're particularly just, just lovely and, and feminine and just elegant. Elegant, yeah, graceful. Really. Which I'm not. Thank you so much. I'm really bad at taking compliments, but thank you. Oh, I really am. Like, true. I, I, I'm kind of like almost uncomfortable getting compliments. Oh, oh you're that, so you're that's so sweet. Um, it's they're like a piece of wisdom. Yeah. That you or your share. life motto or like yeah, what you your want mantra to tell. or something that you want to share that might just touch someone in the right way and be like, yeah, that's a good way to live. It's feelings, but it's like it might be bad now, but it's going to get better. If it's the lowest slow, the only way is up. I know these are cliche or whatnot, but... That's why they're there. <laughs> but they're true. I mean, they are true. I they just, are true. You may have hard days, but when you have your support system, have that one or two friends who are unconditionally, like, will listen and love you and... Just the way you are. And I know it's, it's hard, like, in this world, like, mm -hmm. social media competing and whatnot, but you have to remember, at the end of the day, it's you and you're capable of anything. Yeah. You are capable of anything, people. You're so amazing. I love that. I love you. I love that you're a little shy.